Hey, what's going on? You know who it is. You know what it is. All right, you guys, be game. All right, um, you guys, I want to talk about um, domestic terrorism and, and racism and just a whole bunch of different things on this video. Now, you know, I saw outside the Rose video, good video, and he was further breaking down the incident that happened in Thousand Oaks, California. And something else that I'm starting to peep out. I know for years people used to try to say that uh, hip hop music was, you know, very, you know, influential on um, society and how people think, and it may have caused people to do certain things. And I always thought that was a cop out. But okay, let me, you know, turn the tides right quick. Now, allegedly, this place that got shot up. Because I don't know, I would never go to a place like that. Was a country western bar from what I was hearing. This is uh, one of many incidents where country western music establishments have been shot up. We all know what happened in Las Vegas. Everybody remembers that. Okay. So, now here we have this establishment. Cause see, I'm I'm gonna piss people off. Cause like I said before, us black people, we tired of y'all bringing up Chicago and all this shit. And blacks make up for fifty percent of crime committed in the United. That is total bullshit. That's a fucking lie. Cause if you look at the real polls, the real polls, the FBI official polls, white people are ranked number one in every major crime committed in the United States. From White collar crime to blue collar crime. No, it's the clear people. It's a lie and it's always been a lie. But I want to tie everything together into this video. Now, like I said before, when I first heard about the bar getting shot up, it was not without a shadow of a doubt that I knew the dude was white. I knew he was white. When they said 12 people dead and he was like, okay, this dude is white. Then they showed his face. And once again, as you can see from what the media is saying, are trying to do once again, the predominantly white media is trying to make this guy out to be some sympathetic figure. Oh, he had issues, military and all this kind of stuff. T typical bullshit. This was nothing more than an act of domestic terrorism. And as I said before in my video, you had a nerve to call the police on, on us. Like I said, we should be calling the police on you. Because every time you guys walk into an establishment, whether well, it's a fucking supermarket, a church, whatever, a movie theater, there's a possibility that somebody like you is going to pull out a gun and start killing motherfuckers for no fucking reason. Motherfuckers you ain't never seen before in your life. And then you get people trying to talk about, well, what about black on black crime? What about white on white crime? What about domestic terrorism? They refuse to call these dudes terrorists. I bet you if I did that shit, they'd call me a terrorist. This dude killed the cop. Okay? Who was thinking about retiring? And it's funny, all the labels they try to put on black people and had the audacity to call us that boy, I swear on everything I love. Boy, if somebody bring up Chicago, I don't care what color you is, black or white, I'm blocking your ass. I don't want to hear it. We don't want to hear nothing about Chicago no more. And it's funny how people be talking about, oh, rap, rap shows influence people to commit acts of violence. Well, what's up with country music? Not that I listen to country music, but country music is banned from my house as of today. Damn country music. You know, influencing the youth. I mean, for real, man. And this has been going on forever. From Timothy McBain to the dude in Las Vegas to this the school the the, the shooting in Colorado at the movie theater. 
I mean, like I said, every fucking time you look around, it's somebody that's part of the mayonnaise nation, a.k.a. the clear people. And like I said, these motherfuckers had the audacity to try to point their finger at other people, and particularly black people, and call us animals. Like I said, we seeing who the real animals are. We know who the real savages are now. Because like I said, it's very rare when you hear about a person that looked like me doing something like that. Okay? They always try to dumb dumb you down. And see, this just goes to show you the media's angle and how they really feel about people like us. And this is why we need our own media, why it's important for us to talk about shit like this from our perspective, because you're not going to get the truth. And then, you know, of course, when you have guys like me that talk about the double standard, of course, these media outlets will find their house Negro to try to dumb you down and try to try to say, oh, well, this is just... A, uh, you know, this is not a, a race thing. It's, no, it is a race thing. Because every time you look around, and particularly the Fox News of the world, who went out of their way to misrepresent and unfairly label black people, you know what I'm saying? Who got a history of doing this shit, then they'll try to try to dumb, dumb down the situation. Because that's what they're doing. This dude is an animal. This dude is, is this dude is a, a monster. He shot people he didn't even fucking know. If you go somewhere and you kill people that you don't know for no fucking reason, you are a despicable piece of shit. I understand self-defense. I understand if you put in a situation where it's you or you or them, I understand that. Even to a certain degree, if somebody harmed one of your loved ones. But this dude just decided he gonna do that shit. And I don't, and I'm, like I said, that's the first thing they try to do is look and see that this dude got some kind of military background. Because that's the first thing they, well, oh, well, he spent t time in the military. So basically, you admitting that if you go to the military, there's a possibility you could get fucked up being in the military. Another reason why black people shouldn't join the military. If that's the case, see, they tell on themselves when they say shit like that. They telling on themselves. They never want to call these dudes terrorists. And you think in the United States, all the domestic terrorism that's been enacted on black people, and a lot of it remained unjustified, unsolved, whatever the case, you know what I'm saying? You just look at the history of acts of domestic violence, excuse me, domestic terrorism performed on black people. Like I said, too many incidents. And nothing is ever did about it. And then like I said before, you look at it from the other side. Like I said, black people need to start calling the majority white ran media out on this shit. Because they keep this bullshit going and these 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 fake facades that black people is the only one committing crime in America when that's remotely, remotely a fucking lie. It's a lie. No, they just only keep... No, what they want to do is they just only want to put it out when we're doing it. But based off what happened today, once again, California got exposed. This happened in California. Remember when I kept telling you that they was making all these ridiculous, retarded laws about, you know, arms and bullets and shit? And that I told you it was a, a it was a, a fraud and it was a scam from the gate. This dude didn't have no automatic weapon. This dude, they said, had a handgun. Probably a Glock or something. 
Because they said he reloaded. So, when California was playing God, banning all these high-powered weapons and shit, said, oh, these are, are causing our children to get harmed. They shouldn't be allowed. Okay, so now what? So what's next? What what they gonna do now? They gonna they gonna say in California you gotta build uh uh, uh you gotta make clips that only can hold what five rounds now? Cause they got rid of the sixteen round clip. So what about so what about the ban? So what about uh oh you gotta register your uh your ammo? That law should be overturned immediately. Because it's just a meaningless law, like I keep saying. Was this dude thinking about for real? I, I I gotta expose these fake politicians, predominantly Democrat. And this is why I keep telling you Negroes, stop voting for Democrats. Because the latest polls that they came out that neither Republicans or Democrats serve black people's best interests. I'm just keeping it 100. You look at all this crazy shit that's going on. You got to be like, are you fucking serious? Because I, I, I'm in California. And I've been telling people for the longest that these gun laws in California is racist as fuck. They are aimed at black people. And other minorities. Like I say, they want to keep track. They made those laws because they want to keep track of, of what niggas got guns and buying ammo. And like I said, the shit is backfiring. Because at, at the same time, while they trying to watch and try to look and see what niggas got guns, the ones that they ain't paying attention to is the ones shooting up everything and shooting up everybody. I'm just keeping it 100, y'all. I mean, this ain't nothing but manipulation and shit. People got to stop, like, falling for the okie doke, but then again, we probably never will, because like I said, when we bring up these issues, like, I'm bringing up the issue of how it's a double standard with race when it comes to these shootings and shit. Like I say, people quick to bring up Chicago and all that type of shit. But like I said, that argument is completely dead. Because, like I said, they, they they do that because they want to distract you from the real situation. And the real situation is, is just like what Don Lemon said, the real terrorists we should be worried about is white men. And then they and then the funny thing is, I know some white motherfucker go listen to this video and come on here and start talking shit. But um, go ahead, man, because I'm not even gonna respond to you. I'm gonna block your ass. So you can save your meaningless statistics and your polls, because I I'm witnessing it before my eyes. Like I said, who the real savages are. I'm just keeping it 100. Fact is fact, man. I'm out, man.